Online Country Courage. I am back to share with you the new, um, the vintage doors. Um, yes, it's been a long time coming to launch these and I'm really excited about them. And yeah, the farmhouse collections come along quite nice. So we will jump straight in. These ones here are a, 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 a soft pink, like a baby pink, and um, with lots of layering to give it that chippy, chippy painted door feel that you'd see on a farmhouse with a little motive on there as well and I will jump straight in and we will get started so with this one here um, of course I've again with the uh, uh, the wire that's uh, bent to hold it together supposed to represent you know a piece of wire from the, the fence the farmhouse fence and we move inside and just turn the rings around and we have a, a vintage, authentic vintage um, postcard. Yes, I've decided to let it go. Uh, yeah, I've got so many of them and I thought it's time to let them let them go. And so I've added these into the journals as well. So this one's lending to more on the shabby chic sort of feel. Um, yeah, I think a lot of you are going to absolutely kill me. I cut up the shabby chic bible. That's purely because um, when I lent it out, um, my shabby chic books, uh, back in the day when I was doing my interior design course, um, the, there was a person there that asked for to borrow them and I lent them to her. I tried to get them back off her. I think she returned them finally like six months later. And basically all the pages were falling out of them so I kind of wasn't impressed and I purchased uh, two new ones to replace them and so I thought with the ones that are falling apart the two books that are falling apart I thought to cut them up yep I cut them up sorry Rachel I cut your books up and um, I've used them in all of the journals and I will actually let you know that there will be pockets coming, um, my uh, little pockets coming. So they'll be shabby chic pockets. So they uh, are being worked on and um, they will be coming out um, soon. Don't know when, don't ask me when. I'm not 100% sure when, it's whenever I finish them. So anyway, let's move it on. We have uh, on the back of the um, postcard, we have this beautiful scripted writing. I've just added, uh, you know, uh, one of those uh, gessoed um, vintage book pages that I've stitched and sewn around the side and added some vintage wall paper as support. And here we are. That's Rachel Ashwell's, out of Rachel Ashwell's book. Yeah, yeah, cut it up. And I think it looks absolutely adorable in, in, this, um, in this journal. Um, you can almost lend them towards what prairie her prairie um shabby chic prairie where's that in round top or something like that anywho moving on we've got um tea dyed paper with some more vintage wallpaper to support the page um we have ledger and of course yes you get some shabby chic uh fabric shabby chic fabric gorgeous gorgeous fabric um, by Rachel Ashwell I've stitched Rachel Ashwell's fabrics into these journals and then there's just of course one of those little ephemera cards into a little pocket here and I've added a little tab and this is uh, from her shabby chic home book um, this was looking into her uh, dishwasher with all her yummy plates and um cutlery and so forth yeah so that's a beautiful image and this was as you can see that before went before she painted out her uh, her home vintage wallpaper onto music paper there um we have i've actually see 
it's got Rachel Ashwell down the side. I've actually scanned in her fabric so to make it uh, like a vellum page, which is quite pretty. Uh, we have um, here an old uh, receipt um, that I have abundance of. So um, that's just been scanned in. Once I've scanned everything in and make a complete uh, well, a, a digi kit out of them. I will probably more than likely then use the real thing in my journals so that I've got them for whenever I need to use them. On here we have, um, we've just got uh, another page here with some uh, round vintage wallpaper. We have another wallpaper, um, uh, what do you call these? Um, what do you call them? Not desk plates. I can't remember what they call them now. Anywho, it's just a divider. And the wallpaper, I actually had a received a roll from Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Thank you, honey. Um, so this is some more of her beautiful wallpaper she sent me for Happy Mail. Um, and I'm actually, I'm hoping to actually get a P.O. box um, for Happy Mail um, senders instead of people contacting me and asking for my address to be able to send something. So I might look into getting a P.O. box. Let me know if you think that's the best way to go about it rather than sending it di directly to my home also for safety precaution as well I guess because I don't really want to put my my uh, address in the description box we have another page here which is uh, was a watercolor page which I dyed and then I've just added parchment paper now this is out of the home book as well, uh, Shabby Chic home book, it's from the front page uh, when you first flip open the book and I thought that was just absolutely perfect to go in into this journal and we just have another page here. So and the back cover, my little logo and that's that particular one. So this one has a different motive. Pretty much everything's the same, slightly different in the um, uh, the postcard, vintage postcard in there. Um, beautiful writing again on the back and another one of those pages. Again from the Shabby Chic Home Book. Uh, this is of her bathroom. For those of you who actually have her book can look to see what page I've used. Um, again with the dyed paper we have ledger paper and of course again with the Rachel Ashwell fabric and the num the ephemerate pocket little tab and that's the other side of uh, her dishwasher which is really beautiful and um, again with the music paper the vellum page, um, the receipt, vintage receipt, some vintage, vintage wallpapers. Again, with that beautiful wallpaper from Deb, and some more of that page from the front page, which is the other half of that. With these beautiful birds such a stunning stunning pink now I, I, I left this in and just folded it up if you want to turn it into a pocket add a couple of staples or you can put glue or you can add um, some more something else onto this and extend it so um, to make it a deeper pocket if you wish um, you know it's up totally up to you and then there's some more vintage page there and the back part of the, the journal. So that is that one. I'm only, and I'll move on to the other one, which is more of the romantic, uh, romantic style. Uh, for those of you who have or seen the romantic style book, 
very bright vibrant pinks with reds deep reds and it's just absolutely stunning so this was how it, that inspired me for the color palette um, we will move back straight inside um, it's pretty much the the same and you, you can see it's got the chippy paint and you know it's very lightweight and um, I just love with the pink and the pale palest uh, well with the, using the white and how it turned it into a, like a paler pink you've got bits of the deep red showing through it's just stunning it's more beautiful to see in front of you than you know um, through the camera or the video so we start off this is again lending towards that more romantic sort of style we have a, a vintage um, postcard here with the beautiful scripted writing again with the gesso page to journal another piece out of the Rachel Ashwell uh, book um, so I just thought that was quite beautiful to go in again with the ledger tea dyed and the ledger paper and of course I've used Rachel Ashwell's um, fabric here again um, super stunning absolutely beautiful again with the little ephemera that just tucks inside there with the tab and this is out of the Rachel Ashwell's uh, book again which is stunning I didn't want to I couldn't cut up my uh, romantic style book because obviously I only have one and I don't particularly like cutting up these books but it's only because all the pages of Rachel Ashwell's books were falling out is the reason why I also again scanned in her her fabric so that you've got this beautiful vellum page we've got the vintage receipt an index page and there's some more of that beautiful wallpaper which is the other part of the wallpaper that Deb gave me perfect for this one the colors just work great together um, and another page from Rachel's book this time it's of her kitchen and then it's just uh, showing me some of the, the dress vintage dresses that she had some more vintage paper and again with the back page with that beautiful chippy chippy paint so that's that one and we move into this one which is as I mentioned virtually the same just a slight little bit of difference yeah so we've got this uh, vintage postcard a, a bright Christmas beautiful script on the back again with the gesso page right out of Rachel Ashwell's book which is beautiful again the ledger more of her fabric Rachel Ashwell's fabric and ephemera just tucked inside there dashboard that's what these are called aren't they dashboards yep uh, this set of Rachel Ashwell's book again and scanning in her fabric the vintage um, receipt vintage paper the vintage wallpaper another one of those pages or stitched and then we have another part the other side of her kitchen um, which is where her daughter was having uh, Lily was having her tea party I think and we've got vintage page and of course the back of the, the journal so that my friendies is both of the pink journals I love how these turned out um, they are available on my website um, I haven't checked I know that some have sold but as I mentioned they are listed so check it out to see if there are any uh, still left there all right then I will see you in my next video bye